Good afternoon, I'm Mary Filawaki, and as your AIA Ohio president, I would like to welcome you to the 2020 AIA Ohio Virtual Awards presentation. 2020 has been a year like no other, so it makes sense that our awards will be recognized in a totally different format than we've ever done in the past. We have an astounding nine individual awards and 16 project design awards that we are going to recognize today and we're going to do it fast, so pay attention. We'll have a few short comments from our individual honor award recipients. Each award will be announced with a brief video that includes project images, so maximize your screen size for the best view. The 16 design awards have not been previously announced, so we're all in on the surprise. For now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. I'm Adam Bosnall, and I chaired this year's AIA Ohio Design Awards program. In a year that has challenged how we work and the manner in which we collaborate, it is both uplifting and inspiring to be reminded that great architecture and design can profoundly impact our communities and the lives of people within our state and beyond. Today, we're going to recognize 16 such projects. Our jury was chaired by Brandon Pace, FAIA of Sanders Pace Architecture out of Knoxville. Brandon and his jury reviewed 93 submissions and selected four to be presented with citation awards, nine with merit awards, and three with honor awards. As Mary said, we have a lot to get through. So grab yourself a drink, send your kids back down to the basement for virtual school, and let's dig right in. Uh, the first two videos we're going to represent, we're going to show represent citation awards for newly completed projects. AIA Ohio recognizes AODK Incorporated with a citation award for their work on the Visaki O'Grady residence in Huntington Park. This 3,500 square foot suburban home designed for a passionate graphic design couple was meant to capture both their affinity for Cape Cod style architecture and modern design, along with their love for visual aesthetics and composition. Every slice taken away from the pure salt box forms are highlighted with emphasized dark lines, which reappear throughout the house, creating a visual balance of line, plane, and movement. The composition of materials, textures, light, and shadow undulate from space to space with an intentional responsibility to function and articulate the daily lives and interests of the homeowners. The jury was really captivated by the, uh, the preliminary drawings, the sketches, the models, and really how clear that idea was from the architect. We, in general, love the attention to detail and we thought the composition of those buildings really created some wonderful outdoor spaces as well. Congratulations to AODK for this inspiring design and a well-deserved citation award. AODK Incorporated is out of Lakewood, Ohio. Congratulations. And for our next citation award, Congratulations to DLR Group Westlake Reed Leskoski for their work on the Maslin Museum and this AIA Ohio citation. The major expansion includes a four-story addition to the Southwest, built on the site of the demolished 1880 structure. The modern addition includes flexible classrooms in the basement, an entry-level event space which can open to the adjacent civic lawn a second-level gallery and research space dedicated to legendary football coach Paul Brown and the Massillon Tiger football program, and a third level possessing administrative and archive space. The approach to the event center gallery massing, volume and detailing, and relationship to the landscape are well thought out. We were really intrigued by this project. We wanted to learn more about the project. We couldn't tell very much from some of the um, some of the plan sequences and some of the interior spaces, but we really loved how the building was detailed. We loved specifically the relationship of the new building to the existing. We thought it was uh, appropriately scaled, and we, uh, we also loved the uh, connection to the adjacent park space. 
Congratulations to the Mazelin Museum team on a great addition and this AIA Ohio Citation Award. Congratulations to DLR Group Westlake Reed Laskowski out of Cleveland. And now it's time to recognize our first AIA Ohio Honor Award. This next video will explain why AIA Ohio is awarding William Ayers AIA with the 2020 Public Service Award. The AIA Ohio Public Service Award is granted annually to an individual who has made a significant impact in their community through public service. This year, AIA Ohio recognizes William Ayers AIA Recognizing a critical gap in access to support resources, William Ayers AIA established the Emerald Jenny Foundation with a mission to support people struggling with substance abuse disorders. Channeling his proven process for solving problems beyond design projects, he worked to launch a life-saving recovery tool that transcends the boundaries of his design portfolio. He understands from first-hand experience how overwhelming it can be to navigate resources and find treatment for a loved one in need. William applied his design thinking to analyze and find a way to diminish the challenge that families face when afflicted by addiction. In just three years, the Emerald Jenny Foundation has made a measurable impact on the nation's fight against addiction, and its website is now Ohio's official online resource for connecting families to more than 1,200 addiction treatment centers. Congratulations to William Ayers AIA, and thank you for your tireless public service. I would like to thank the local and state AIA leadership for this prestigious award and for all their hard work. Uh, I would also like to thank Elizabeth Corbin Murphy for nominating me for this award. And in particular, I'd like to thank the Emerald Jenny Foundation Board and all of the staff who dedicated uh, countless hours uh, creating this uh, foundation. And I'd also like to thank the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services for believing in us. Um, my daughter, Jennifer Emerald Ayers, passed away at the age of 29 of uh, a drug overdose. And as we reflected, we realized that the chaos we went through was almost unbearable, unbearable. And so we looked at the notebook we had created and we thought if we could track down all the available resources, give people definitions for the terminology and provide encouraging articles that this could really help other families in their time of crisis. Um, because it's very difficult for families. And what we learned is you need to hate the disease, but love the person. And we are very proud of what we accomplished and we thank AIA for acknowledging our efforts. Thank you. Congratulations, Bill. And back to you, Adam, for more design awards. Our next design award is a citation for newly completed work. AIA Ohio presents MSA Design and A359 with a citation award for their work on the Empower Multimedia Building. The Empower Multimedia Agency decided to move from an isolated neighborhood of Cincinnati to Over the Rhine. Empower searched for existing building equity for their new home, but due to the typical small floor plate size in mostly older residential buildings, the ability to find contiguous 45,000 square feet proved impossible. With this one, we were looking at the, uh, the project as an urban planning solution. We've seen a lot of projects that are similar uh, to this that aren't nearly as successful. We liked how it incorporated the, uh, the original building into the composition. We thought that was a smart move. We really appreciated how sensitive the designers were uh, in creating a modest and appropriately scaled uh, solution for an info project like this. The jury continued to comment, 
The sensitivity to the adjacent buildings and the scale of the street itself is the strongest asset of the project. The articulation of the exterior materials and the no-nonsense detailing and approach to the interiors complement each other and the overall project. Wonderful integration of old and new. The bold visual connection through MOVE was perfectly located given how different it is from its immediate surroundings. We especially appreciated this project's urban infill strategy and the way it used old and new construction to reinforce the surrounding public streets and alley while making an interesting place to work. The Empower Multimedia Building in Cincinnati earns a citation award for newly completed buildings, additions, remodelings, renovations, restorations. Congratulations to MSA Design and A359. Congrats to MSA Design and A359, both from Cincinnati on this award-winning collaboration. Our final citation award of the day is for in, an interiors project. Congratulations to Vocon for their work on Floor 24 in New York City on this AIA Ohio Citation Award for Interior Projects. The concept tells the story of the perfect contrast of hardlined and organic. The space is a balance of refined areas for more formal collaboration versus more raw areas for the immersive environments. The jury commented, we love how this project has so many faces, similar to the multiple generations and personality types who work in most any corporate office these days. The quiet and restrained spaces are balanced by the more playful and casual spaces. Yeah, so this was one of our favorite projects to talk about. Uh, one of the jurors called it a, a mashup, another one called it a corporate mullet. It wasn't at the top of everybody's list whenever we started the discussion, but after going through, uh, we really gained an appreciation for it. We had a hard time, some of us, uh, engaging the plan initially, but uh, we soon uh, gained a real appreciation for what was, uh, what was happening within the space. We thought that what was created here was uh, different types of spaces that really avoids what we see as the sameness that's a lot of times generated uh, in office spaces like this. Congratulations to Vocon for creating a fun and dynamic working environment with Floor 24 and an AIA Ohio Citation Award. Congratulations to Vocon in Cleveland for this citation award. Now we're going to mix it up a bit and showcase the highest honor that AIA Ohio can award a member the AIA Ohio Gold Medal Award. More than anything, I wish we were all together to recognize this year's AIA Ohio Gold Medalist, Jack Allen Bialowski Jr., FAIA, for his accomplishments. Earlier this month, Jack received the medal from last year's recipient, Robert Maschke, FAIA. Let's watch. It is my distinct honor as last year's recipient to honor my dear friend and colleague, Jack Bialowski, with this year's AIA Ohio Gold Medal. Congratulations. The AIA Ohio Gold Medal is the highest honor that AIA Ohio can bestow on an individual. It is conferred by the AIA Ohio Board of Directors in recognition of exemplary efforts and significant accomplishments. AIA Ohio is proud to recognize Jack Allen Bialowski Jr. FAIA with the AIA Ohio Gold Medal. Jack Bialowski Jr. FAIA leads Bialowski Cleveland, a multidisciplinary design firm recognized for design practice and culture. His aptitude for practice management, succession planning, and strategic planning elevated the firm and positioned Jack as a thought leader on the business of architecture. As an accomplished architect and planner, Jack prioritizes design integrity and the human experience. His firm embodies these principles, declaring architecture is never incidental, but always by design. Projects capture not a single voice, but that of a design collective that aspires for optimistic, quietly confident architecture. Throughout his career, Jack has earned widespread respect 
as a trusted community leader and facilitator. He believes architects are uniquely suited to serve their communities and embeds this philosophy of servant leadership in his practice and AIA. As AIA Cleveland president, Jack amplified awareness of citizen architects through sustained advocacy efforts and public service. Jack has helped establish nonprofits such as The Gathering Place, a cancer support agency, and has saved others such as the Children's Museum of Cleveland through strategic planning and design. In his letter of support, AIA Ohio past president and former gold medal recipient, Michael Schuster, FAIA wrote, Jack Bialowski is on a mission to change the face of design in an era where mediocrity and uninspired architecture is an accepted solution. Jack believes that every project deserves careful thought, deliberate intent, and absolute resolve to create unique and memorable places. There is absolutely no question that Jack is deserving of the AIA Ohio Gold Medal. His work and career are a ready testament. It is an honor and a privilege to present Jack Allen Bialowski Jr. FAIA with the AIA Ohio Gold Medal. Thank you, Robert. My wife tells me the only time she's seen this big a smile on my face is when I've caught a huge fish. While Kate gave me license to speak for up to five minutes today, don't worry, I won't. In fact, it would take much longer to thank all of the people who've taught, mentored, and nurtured me, bringing me to this day and this most singular honor. While I have always believed in looking forward, I hope you'll forgive me if I take a moment to reflect on those who came before me, inspired me, encouraged me to be the best I could be, and to see in me something maybe I couldn't see myself to begin with. This begins, and I suppose ends, with my father, a man of prodigious talent who cared not one whit for such trophies, but who took pride in my accomplishments, modeled creativity, love of his work, the iterative design process, and resilience in the face of adversity. My brother Bill, brilliant architect in his own right, who has always seen the path before others realize it's there, teaching me, his older brother, patiently, effortlessly, so many things, but the calculus, when I was struggling with it in college, stands out. Then there was the young university professor who engaged me and wouldn't let me fall when I was struggling in studio. Later in life, this same Rob Livesey was the first to encourage me towards the College of Fellows. AIA has truly enriched my life, exposed me to outstanding architects who've taught me so much and embraced me as a colleague and friend. Robert Mashkey, Tim Hawk, Ruth Gless, Michael Schuster, Pete Van Dyke, Doug Steidel, Aaron Hill, just to name a few. Thank you. And finally, to my firm and family, which are one and the same. My partners, all of whom have supported me and whom I regard as brothers and sons. My beautiful and intrepid wife, Ronnie, and my colleague, Haley Crouch. Without the love and support of either of them, I would not be here today. And to my sons, Danny and Alec, who have never allowed me to take myself too seriously, I thank all of you as well. As I said, I have no interest in resting on my laurels though the gold medal is sure one magnificent laurel. You can count on me to continue leading and following, learning and growing, and doing my small part to uphold the Hebrew value of tikkun olam, healing the world. Thank you all. Congratulations, Jack, on this most well-deserved honor. Adam? Thanks, Mary. All right, our next two design awards are merit awards for unbuilt projects. AIA Ohio presents Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design, a merit award for unbuilt projects for their plan on the entrepreneurial housing. This initiative offers entrepreneurial housing opportunities for residents in urban neighborhoods through an infill development with owner-occupied units and attached rental apartments. 
Resident owners benefit by acquiring property management skills and experience, as well as building rental income and equity in their communities. The jury loved the way it flips the traditional model of owner-tenant housing on its head and weaves multiple uses together in a most democratic way. So the jury really was drawn to projects with presentations that clearly outlined an ambition or an agenda for a project. And this was one of the best of these. I think the uh, use of 2D and 3D graphics really helped to tell a story that uh, the jury was able to follow. So we appreciated the dual goals of the proposal, um, which it aims to use good design to have a positive social impact with an architecture that's grounded and appropriate. Congratulations to Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design on the impressive plans for entrepreneurial housing and this AIA Ohio Merit Award. Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design Practices out of Columbus. Congratulations. AIA Ohio recognizes Jay Kurtz Architects with the Merit Award for Unbuilt Projects for the Wonder School in Wichita, Kansas. The Wonder School is an innovative, new, educational model founded on the belief that every child has the ability to find a calling and change the world. The 45,000 square foot building will be located on a 16 plus acre plot on the east side of Wichita. An expansive site allows the school to become a pavilion within a field maximizing the identity of the building and providing a natural safety and security buffer. Well, on juries I've chaired, we, we usually try to set a high bar for unbuilt work. Um, this one's clearly uh, more than just a pretty picture. I think it achieves that. It's a nice project. It's got a clear agenda to create a simple pavilion uh, within the landscape that provides uh, an exceeding number of uh, connected but distinct experiences. We liked the graphic nature of the plan and how that translated into section as well. We thought it was really well done. Congratulations to the Wonder School team at J. Kurtz Architects for a great unbuilt project and this AIA Ohio Merit Award. Congratulations to J. Kurtz Architects out of Cleveland. The AIA Ohio Board announced a new award this year the Emerging Professional Award, recognizing the achievements of AIA Ohio's youngest members and rising stars. Four individuals will be recognized today. Our first is Erin Curley, AIA. The AIA Ohio Emerging Professional Award identifies and promotes exceptional accomplishments of associate members and young architect members and their continuing development within the profession. Congratulations to Aaron Curley, AIA, as one of this year's AIA Ohio Emerging Professionals. Demonstrating a commitment to bridging the gap between the architecture profession and the community, Aaron Curley's professional involvement began as a board member with AIAS during her time at Bowling Green State University. She engages the community through volunteering, mentoring students, encouraging women to discover their strengths, speaking in panel discussions and enhancing the recognition of architects in the community. Bringing first-time programs and events to her local chapter, such as the Hip Hop Architecture Camp, Handlebar Architecture Tour, University Expo and ARE Prep Program, she has a way of connecting to people and helping connect people to their community. Throughout her career, she has provided over 4,000 hours of volunteer service leading to the completion of the Sylvania Area Family Services Edition and currently under construction, a concession facility for the Miracle League of Northwest Ohio, benefiting those with special needs. Erin spurs change and follows through with action with each endeavor she embraces, making her a true catalyst for the region and advocate for the architecture profession. Her engagement has helped shape our community through physical and social interactions creating a new generation of dedicated voices and strong leaders. Congratulations, Aaron, on everything you've accomplished and best of luck on continuing a promising career. Good evening, colleagues. What an amazing program thus far. I would like to first take a moment to say thank you to Kate and the award committees for their efforts in shifting to a virtual program. Hard work that has produced yet another great outcome. Congratulations. I'm very honored to stand among the award recipients this year. 
as we join the ranks of the many who have inspired us in previous years. I absolutely love our profession and the positive impact each of us have on the communities we serve. It is through this passion that I continue to discover ways to engage the community and help people build their dreams. Thank you to all the architects who inspired me and to the organization for creating a club of friendship. At this time, I'd like to thank the AIA Ohio board for selecting me for this amazing honor. Your recognition will continue to inspire. I would also like to thank Ed Glowacki, Craig Pickerel, Paul Hollenbeck, and Salim Elwazani for their support. To my mentors, Dwight Gilliland, Heather Judge, and Tracy Carpenter, thank you for always pushing me to be my best and helping me to continue to move forward. For, and most important, I would like to thank my family, especially my parents, Tom and Kathy Curley. Their undying support, and of course, puppy sitting while I'm out gallivanting around town, participating in committees and events, can, cannot go unseen. I would not be who I am without their love and their guidance. Love you, Rents. Colleagues, I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. Have a great night. Congratulations, Aaron. Adam, what's next? Mary, I'm glad you've asked. Let's watch this merit award for newly completed projects. Congratulations to Design Group on a merit award for the Jameson Crane Sports Medicine Institute at The Ohio State University. The new Jameson Crane Sports Medicine Institute serves as a beacon of innovation and discovery in helping people improve their athletic performance, recover from injury, and prevent future injuries. This project impressed the jury as an example of a large building setting itself apart through a simple but distinctive tailored glass and masonry box that organizes a diverse set of interior rooms and transition spaces to take full advantage of their various exposures. So we really like the simplicity of this project. This is a really big project and it's hard to have that kind of restraint. It was a no-nonsense formal strategy and uh, it really allows the layering of exterior materials to, uh, to shine through along with the richness and, and detailing that the architects used. Um, we thought that it was a really well-conceived materials palette as well. Um, it's a simple palette that helps uh, to re reinforce the austere language of the, uh, of the architecture. Congratulations to Design Group on an AIA Ohio Merit Award for the Jameson Crane Sports Medicine Institute. Congratulations to Design Group out of Columbus. Haley Crouch, Associate AIA, is another emerging professional we're recognizing today. AIA Ohio would like to recognize Haley Crouch, Associate AIA, with an AIA Ohio Emerging Professional Honor Award. Formally trained in architecture, Haley Crouch is living out her singular mission, coaching architects to be their best. She has carved a non-traditional path as a marketer and strategist to empower and support architects and designers at Bialowski and AIA. She is endearingly called the Architect Whisperer. Within an hour of being introduced to the AIA Cleveland Board, Haley pitched a Women in Architecture celebration for Women's History Month. This celebration, now in its sixth year, has become a signature chapter event and has caused her to co-found the WIA committee. Haley is a champion of firm culture. She has inspired and executed productive, uplifting change within Bialowski Cleveland through thoughtful programs, including active listening workshop, professional development plans, and Bialowski's first women's retreat. She is deeply engaged with her alma mater, Kent State University. She has presented to students on topics of alternative careers and equity in the profession. Haley has also volunteered for career fairs as an approachable ambassador of AIA Cleveland. Haley has risen to become a unique voice in the profession. She has been a successful role model and mentor for her group and beyond, and she actively seeks opportunities to promote other emerging leaders. 
I'm so thankful to AIA Ohio for this award and want to give us a special congratulations to Adam, Jennifer, and Aaron. I admire each of you so much. Uh, as a non-architect, the AIA community could have called me an other or an outsider. Um, instead, you all are my people. Uh, AIA has motivated me to bring optimism and hope to the difficult and uneasy issues in our profession. Um, I've truly treasured having the strategic and compassionate voice. Um, I have to thank David Cron for being the first to believe in me 15 years ago. Um, I'm thankful to my dearest Jack Bialowski who helped me find my true calling. I thank Lynn Skynier who gave me my first full-time job in her boutique art and furniture store. I owe her for lessons in grace and in style. To my countless mentors, Aaron, Tim Hawk, Ruth Glass, Steve Kordowski, Bruce Horton, and Jody Vanderweel, I can't wait to, he to hug each and one of you. I owe so much to my parents who worked so hard for so long for my future. And I'm grateful to my husband, Charlie, for his unconditional love that makes me the best version of myself. And my final thank you goes to a pivotal idol of mine, Francois Molly, an art editor of the New Yorker and an architecture school dropout. I met her years ago when I was still in knots about my alternative career. She said to me, everyone should study architecture but not practice it. Imagine if every field benefited from design thinking. Those few words were life affirming and career affirming to me. I wrote her a letter the night that I learned I won this award. So to all the firm leaders, professors, and mentors, please validate those that didn't fit the textbook definition of an architect. Be as courageous as Jack and David were to take a chance on someone who was different. Bring curiosity and imagination to their situation. Thank you all and be kind to each other. Congratulations, Haley. Much, much deserved. Uh, up next, we have two merit awards for newly completed projects, both owned by uh, the Columbus Metropolitan Library, actually. Moody Nolan Incorporated earns an AIA Ohio Merit Award for their work on the Columbus Metropolitan Library MLK branch. The Columbus Metropolitan Library MLK branch is the first library in the country named after Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Its history is unique within the historic Near East Side of Columbus. Design inspiration comes directly from the writing of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. We must utilize the community action groups and training centers now proliferating in some slum areas to create not merely an electorate, but a conscious, alert, and informed people who know their direction and whose collective wisdom and vitality commands respect. The design of this building is an exploration into this theme of connection and change. We were drawn to this project um, really as much as, as a civic statement um, and how it acts as a revitalization tool within the community. We thought the, uh, the reference to the historic porches of the area, that was uh, really nice. We also uh, liked how the public components of the program um, were integrated within those spaces. And also the, the kind of rotating gallery space, which is something that's going to keep the attention and uh, engagement of the community was, was really great as well. Congratulations to Moody Nolan Incorporated on their great work and dedication to the community with the Columbus Metropolitan Library MLK branch and a 2020 AIA Ohio Merit Award. Congrats to Moody Nolan and out of Columbus. AIA Ohio presents Design Group with a Merit Award for the Northern Lights Branch Library Edition for the Columbus Metropolitan Library. The core mission of this branch was to provide its community with its large and diverse immigrant population, inspiring spaces for community programming and education. In service of this, the building is organized around a main street space containing welcome and customer service functions public lounge spaces, flexible study areas, and children's programming zones. The decisions to subtract from the original building and organize the interior around a bent clear story space are simple but powerful moves that benefit the project and the public. 
And we, we really loved this project. Um, we, we thought it was really heavy handed, but um, in a good way. Uh, one, of the, one of the jurors said that it was uh, a lawnmower approach where the top of the building was, was mowed off. Um, and we thought that was great. And it was a great way to really activate um, the new Main Street insertion by bringing natural light into that space. We just imagined that we saw the images of the new space and we can't imagine how uh, much better that is an improvement upon the draft spaces what the original building had. Design Group earns this AIA Ohio Merit Award for its strategic transformation of the old library with its new structure. Congrats to Design Group on their second award of the day. Many of you know Tim Hawk, FAIA. I'm thrilled to be recognizing him with an AIA Ohio 2020 Mentor Award. Congratulations, Tim Hawk, FAIA, on winning a 2020 AIA Ohio Mentor Award. Tim Hawk, FAIA, recognizes the importance of collaborative enterprise in all aspects of the profession. His passion for teaching and mentoring, focused on expanding access to the profession, is the guiding principle for his entire professional life. Tim transformed his firm through mentorship of emerging architects and designers and the development of WSA leadership training programs. He is an impactful educator who works at the community college level with diverse populations to daylight career potential, and he is a champion of collaborative programming, which increases opportunities for mentorship. As a leader in the profession, Tim has served his local AIA chapter at the regional level and now serves the national board. What drives him is a genuine commitment to the future of the profession. He wants to ensure that architects are positioned on the forefront of issues, that they are considered a valuable resource to the public and to legislators, and that the next generation feels welcome into a supportive and inspirational community. Join AIA Ohio in recognizing Tim Hawk, FAIA, as a leader and role model with this AIA Ohio Mentor Award. Thank you. Thank you very much for this very distinguished uh, honor. Architecture is very important to me. It is my life's calling. And to be recognized by peers for my contribution to the profession is very humbling. Ironically, I'm being recognized for mentorship when I honestly feel that there is an entire career that has been shaped by those who've been mentored and supported me. Uh, from my parents who helped me think beyond my own selfish tendencies to the many educators who have shaped my values, uh, I owe a great debt of gratitude. Uh, rising from the many are the voices of Bob Wandel and Tom Schnell two great architects who both educated and mentored me, but mostly showed an unprecedented level of trust in me. So thank you, Bob and Tom. And also thank you to my wife of 32 years, Chris, and my two sons who have always supported my interest in architecture. My pledge to you today, fellow architects, is that I will not rest on these accolades. I press forward, hoping to inspire our best to become our next architects. Congrats, Tim. We have two more videos for merit awards for newly completed projects. Take a look. AIA Ohio presents Prospectus Architecture with a merit award for the Center for Dialysis Care in Cleveland. The new Center for Dialysis Care Cleveland East facility is the flagship location for this regional care provider. The project site is situated within Cleveland's University Circle neighborhood with access from three major urban arteries. The site layout places the 48,500 square foot building close to the street, similar to the historical urban context. So this is a, a really wonderful project. Uh, what we liked about it the most was how it elevates the experience of a project type that really doesn't typically receive a lot of attention. 
Um, we talked about how dialysis clinics sometimes are located in not the best parts of town. And they uh, kind of are adaptive reuse projects and not the best types of buildings, sometimes in strip malls and things like that. So we thought that this bring, uh, this brought a bit of dignity um, to this type of this type of treatment. Um, and that we liked how the consistency of treatment and the kind of crisp detailing the outside of the building was also brought inside. We thought that was impressive how that language was integrated into the interior. Congratulations to Prospectus Architecture on the Center for Dialysis Care and the 2020 AIA Ohio Merit Award. Congratulations to Prospectus Architecture out of Cleveland. For the view on Grant in Columbus, Ohio, AIA Ohio presents Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design with a Merit Award. The project retained the industrial and historic qualities of this 1902 building while incorporating modern elements like the cantilevered rooftop addition. In addition to the residential units, the site also houses a coffee shop and a 41-spot indoor parking area. The pair building concept has created a striking iconographic addition to the downtown Columbus skyline and a beacon for a reviving downtown neighborhood. The on-site public cafe located in the entry lobby slash lounge with its outdoor seating serves a role as an important and iconic public space for the neighborhood that activates a visible corner. So we, we thought the preservation of the existing building uh, and how it was incorporated into a, a new uh, larger project was really admirable. Um, we thought that it made some uh, nice, a nice unit mix, different unit types. We also loved the, uh, the addition and how it was an appropriate um, addition in terms of massing, but it also created some different opportunities for how you could create uh, a mix of interior and exterior spaces within that. We also thought the building made a nice uh, statement at the street level as well with the incorporation of the cafe, which is a really nice touch. Congratulations to Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design for revitalizing a historic warehouse into a vibrant mixed-use urban center and an AIA Ohio Merit Award. That's the second award of the day for Jonathan Barnes Architecture and Design. Congratulations. Back to you, Mary. Thank you, Adam. AIA Ohio selected two members to rec receive the Public Service Award. The second person being recognized here today for public service is Jody Vanderweel, AIA. The AIA Ohio Public Service Award is granted annually to an individual who has made a significant impact in their community through public service. This year, we recognize Jody Vanderweel, AIA. Jody Vanderweel's passion for education, inclusivity, and outreach drive her to use her voice to make an impact for her community. She is a public servant, giving her time and sharing her knowledge educating the community on how comprehensive design thinking will solve problems. She continues to generate an inclusive, diverse pipeline to the profession while exemplifying how architects can be of service to their communities. Jody helped to co-fund the AIA Cleveland Women in Architecture Committee in 2015 and has played an outsized role in shaping the organization ever since. For the past 11 years, Jody has been an active advocate for design and planning excellence for the City of Cleveland's design review process. Jody Vanderweel is a passionate and creative advocate who continues to implement exemplary programs and initiatives that promote a more equitable, diverse, and inclusive profession. Congratulations, Jody, and thank you for your continued service to our community. Hello, I'm Jody Vanderweel. I'm a design director with Vocon, and I'm currently serving as AIA Cleveland president. First, I would like to thank Deb Donnelly and Paul Voinovich for their endless support with all of my endeavors. Giving back is such a strong part of our culture here at Vocon. And secondly, I wish to thank a few of my mentors, including Dave Robar, Jack Bialowski, Terry Welker and Judd Klein for sharing their time with me this year. 
I'm so grateful to receive the AIA Ohio Public Service Award, and I'm proud to be the first woman recognized with this honor. I'm looking forward to seeing many more women and minorities submit for this award in future years. Thank you. Well deserved, Jody. Congratulations. So we have two final merit awards for newly completed projects. AIA Ohio presents Midland Architecture, a merit award for the Rural Chapel in Lafferty. The project came about as the result of the town having lost its sole church to a house fire that spread from a neighboring property. With no specifics in mind, it was the community leader's hope to replace the former vinyl clad structure with something spiritual and enduring. The traditional form and language of the building gives it a sense of permanence. But this is complemented nicely by some unexpected moves, punctuated by the slender window behind the altar. We really appreciated the, the straightforwardness of this project. The uh, traditional form and the language of the building was something we were all really drawn to. Um, we liked how there were some modern moments in this too, kind of uh, the end of the, the skewed hallway punctuated by the, uh, the window at the end was a nice touch. We also loved how the sides of the building opened up to really transform the space uh, and turn it into a pavilion um, on, the, on the hilltop. Congratulations to Midland Architecture for the beautiful rural chapel and this AIA Ohio Merit Award. Congratulations to Midland Architecture out of Columbus. An AIA Ohio Merit Award goes to ACOC Associates Architects for their work on Pomerine Hall at The Ohio State University. Originally designed by University Architect Howard Dwight Smith, the building was completed in 1922 and served as the first women's union and recreation building at The Ohio State University. From the careful rehab of the historic building to the major addition designed to go with it, to a modern atrium. The newly updated Pomerine Hall is a work of art. We, we really loved uh, the commitment that the architect made to this type of architecture. We appreciated some of the spaces like the gymnasium as well and how some of the uh, historic elements really shined through in uh, new spaces on the interior. The jury also remarked, when new elements have been designed to replicate the original, they are done with an immense amount of rigor and understanding of what makes the original notable. The ability of the design to embrace the building in the round and better relate to its campus context is also appreciated. This is an incredibly well done and highly respectful response to the existing building and grounds. A new vibrancy has been introduced to the existing building without taking away from the historic character of the interior and exterior spaces, materials, and details. ACOC Associates is out of Columbus. Congratulations. Our third member to be recognized with the AIA Ohio Emerging Professional Award is Adam Yarak, AIA. Congratulations, Adam Yarux, AIA, on being named one of AIA Ohio's Emerging Professionals. Adam Yarux, AIA, is a design professional who sets the bar high for leadership and advocacy. He has been influential in creating a multifaceted chapter communications plan for AIA Cleveland, initially designed to raise awareness of architecture and design in the Northeast Ohio design community. Through his roles at AIA Cleveland and Kent State University, Adam consistently motivates and mentors students, as well as recent graduates. Adam is an experienced architect who has been active within the Northeast Ohio architecture and design community for the past 14 years. In addition to his role as a project manager with IKM Architecture, Adam is also an adjunct faculty member the Kent State University College of Architecture and Environmental Design. He has shown great leadership, management, and motivational skills through his responsibilities as a project manager, community leader, and teacher. 
In 2017, Adams served as the AIA Cleveland president, making him the youngest president in the chapter's 125 plus year history. Throughout his consecutive years of service with the AIA, Adam has led initiatives for improved programming, public advocacy, membership engagement, chapter marketing, and chairs annual events such as the Cleveland Design Awards and Good Time for Design Boat Crews. Whether he is practicing, volunteering, or teaching, his goal is always the same, to promote the profession of architecture and quality of work in the region to the general public and to advocate for all architects in Cleveland and throughout Northeast Ohio. Good evening and thank you to AIA Ohio for this amazing recognition. It is truly an honor to be recognized as a recipient of this inaugural award. I would like to congratulate all of my fellow honorees and AIA Ohio Honor Award recipients. I wouldn't be here without the support of many others throughout the early stages of my career. I would like to take a moment to thank those who have challenged and encouraged me along the way. Thank you to AIA Cleveland for supporting me no matter what the event, program, or endeavor was which I was pursuing. Thanks to my alma mater, Kent State University, for their continued support in providing me with the opportunity to teach. And thanks to ICAM Architecture for providing a creative environment and culture that pushes young professionals to take up interests outside of the workplace. And lastly, I would like to thank my numerous mentors that have always provided me with resources to grow as a professional and as a person. Thanks again and congratulations to all the other winners this evening. We have three final awards for the day, all honor awards, which is the highest level of distinguishment that can be bestowed upon a project. The first one is in the category of newly completed projects. AIA Ohio proudly presents an honor award to GBBN and CLV Design Group for their work on the Lake West Five Community Clubhouse in Tianjin, China. In the heart of Tianjin's urban core, a car dealership that once greeted pedestrians with a blank 220-foot corrugated metal wall has become a pedestrian entrance and clubhouse for a new urban residential community to its north. This project instantly jumped out um, to the jury. We all had it really high in the initial rankings. It was an amazing transformation. We couldn't even tell that it was the same building. Um, the precision of the project, though, is what we were really drawn to. Every moment of this project was so well detailed. Um, it was just really a, a work of art. Um, we, we thought the layered procession and plan all the way from the street through to the interior of the building through a series of courtyards was wonderful. Um, we thought the incorporation of a section as well with the way the, uh, the curtains kind of integrated into find space within the building. Uh, and the, the incorporation of, of lighting into every aspect of this as well to just really unify the composition. The jury also commented the project creates an aura of wonder and mystery that all appreciate it especially given the project type. The details are deftly wielded with a concern and intent of a much more intense building type. The quality of this experience is addressed in numerous ways with a simultaneous, even-handed attention to space, detail, and material. AIA Ohio is proud to present an honor award to the Lake West Five Community Clubhouse team. Congrats, GBBN. I see that watch party. Two members are receiving the AIA Ohio Mentor Award. This is the mentoring story of Howard Blaisdell, AIA. The AIA Ohio Mentor Award recognizes a member who has demonstrated strong leadership, guidance, and service in the support of mentorship to fellow professionals or in her or his community. This year, we would like to recognize Howard Blaisdell, AIA. Howard Blaisdell, AIA, shares his strong knowledge of building codes, technical proficiency, and depth of construction experience with a broad population. And he does so with patience, encouragement, and compassion. In addition to supporting project teams and the studio, Howard also provides mentorship to emerging professionals. 
Through hosting intermittent sessions on building codes, he teaches fundamental and advanced techniques for individuals to excel in their interpretations and understandings. He continually approaches any issue as a learning opportunity, paying forward the sharing of knowledge in a contemporary, empathetic adaptation of the architect intern mentorship tradition. Howard Blaisdell is a role model of true mentorship, relishing the tradition of architect as a lifetime learning and sharing profession. Congratulations, Howard, and thank you for your leadership and service to our association and the profession. I would like to thank the committee for this Mentor of the Year Award. I would like to thank those who wrote letters in support and all of those I've worked with over my career so far. I appreciate the recognition for the effort that I've been making over the last 30 years to mentor and teach others in the architecture profession. I have always believed that if I can teach someone how to do a task and why, they will have a greater understanding of the topic and will be able to use that knowledge to be more productive in their jobs. I am thankful that I have the patience to work with others and treat them with support in these mentoring sessions. I am especially thankful that Moody Nolan supports me in this effort and values my teaching and mentoring other staff. Thank you. Congratulations, Howard. And today's final individual honor award, the fourth Emerging Professional Award recognizing Jennifer Rittler, AIA. The AIA Ohio Emerging Professional Award identifies and promotes exceptional accomplishments of associate members and young architect members in their continuing development within the profession. Congratulations, Jennifer Rittler, AIA, on the Emerging Professionals Honor Award. In an industry hinged on the strength and determination of young professionals, Jennifer Rittler, AIA, is inspiring others with her leadership and service. In parallel with her project work at Moody Nolan, Jennifer tirelessly advocates for young professionals in Columbus, co-founded AIA Columbus Archway in 2018, which is an innovative program for mentorship and leadership development for Columbus design professionals, including business owners, architects, interior designers, and landscape architects. Jennifer reaches those beyond the architectural community by helping to build understanding of what the career entails for young people by volunteering with the Center for Architecture and Design's Camp Architecture Program. She also serves on the AIA National Center for Leadership Committee. Her enthusiasm for representing Columbus at a national level is an exciting opportunity to highlight both Columbus and Ohio to architects across the country. She is passionate about growing the skills of leaders while creating a sustainable financial model for continued success. Jennifer takes on projects with a positive attitude and consistently exhibits her leadership abilities. Through her tireless efforts, she is shaping the future of the profession, advancing collaborative practice models, and guiding the Ohio design community to advance together. Thank you, AIA Ohio Board of Directors. I am honored to receive this award alongside the other outstanding recipients. I am grateful to my friends and colleagues for supporting my professional growth and motivating me to do more for the architecture industry. Special thanks to my family for supporting my career journey, whether it's my husband joining me for a dinner, my kids coming to committee meetings, or my sisters coming to events with me, their confidence in me really fuels my growth. Um, this prestigious recognition inspires me to continue to push the boundaries of leadership in practice and service. Congratulations to Jen. Our second honor award for the, for the day is for newly completed projects. Congratulations to Robert Mashkey Architects Incorporated on an AIA Ohio Honor Award for Little Big House in Cleveland's Little Italy. The architecture of Little Big House emerges from the reconciliation of inherent contradictions embedded within the site and program. The client desired an urban presence while also creating private exterior space secluded from the surrounding context. The jury remarked, Little Big House respects the scale of its neighbors 
while maintaining its independence and abstract confidence. This house was so beautiful, the jury actually did a Google drive-by during our deliberations. With this project, we were really impressed with how comprehensive an approach the design team was able to use. Um, from site and massing, programming of the building, down to the level of detailing and execution. So each part of this project seemed to reinforce other decisions that were made. There was a, a discipline to the design approach as well that stayed uh, true and avoided embellishment, but where embellishment was brought in with the uh, kind of subtle moves in plan and section um, that changed the orientation and angle of spaces was really well done, difficult to do. Um, we were also impressed with this project, with the project's presentation. It seemed like the architect in this in this one uh, really used the right presentation materials to uh, carry through and prove the, uh, the agenda and ambition of the project. AIA Ohio proudly recognizes Robert Maschke Architects with a 2020 Honor Award. Congratulations on an inspiring home design. Congratulations to Robert Maschke Architects in Cleveland. And we have one final uh, honor award for the day, this one for an interiors project. AIA Ohio presents WSA in Columbus with an honor award for interior projects for their work on the Bath and Body Works Research and Development Center. This project co-locates all research and development functions within an existing international distribution warehouse and fuels quality assurance, synergistic research findings, and efficiency. The design extends the corporate Heartland brand to this remote location and fuels corporate culture through the design of three spatial typologies, placemaking, connectivity, and destination. Yeah, so this was a, a really good example of, of, a, of a liner project. So you have a project typology um, that is just kind of standard and nondescript. And uh, with one little insertion, it really uh, heightens the experience within the space. So we appreciated the consistency and treatment of materials. The architects here really edited down to just a combination of warm, neutral, and natural. And what that does is it really heightens the experience uh, in some of the spaces that might not normally be considered uh, you know, worthy of that. Congratulations to WSA and the Bath & Body Works Research and Development Center team on a powerful and welcoming work environment and an honor award for interior projects. Congratulations to WSA. Thanks Adam for chairing our 2020 design awards. Thanks to everyone who submitted projects and congratulations to the winners. If you are the recipient of an AIA Ohio Design Award announced today, Kate Brunswick will be, be reaching out to your firm next week with the details for getting you your award. It's incredibly uplifting to spend time, even if it has to be virtual, recognizing the great work that Ohio architects are doing. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Congratulations to the winners. Great job.